Okay, how's it going guys? It's uh, Wednesday night, I guess now. We're going to take off these $10 pedals. Okay. And put on some genuine Cannondale pedals. Okay, these are definitely not the pedals that came with the bike. Pedals that came with the bike were more similar to this. Okay, uh, obviously not made of cheap plastic and they had the hoop for your foot to slip into. Um, was unable, one was, was unable to find those, these were wasted. Was unable to find those, but I did find these. What bike they came from? I have no idea. Maybe they never came from a production bike, I really do not do not know. Um, but, this is what we're putting on there. Plus we got some reflectors. Plus we got a new frame coming. Yeah, we're going to experiment by changing the frame. Uh, a little different. It's the frame I always wanted. This is the M500. I got the M800. The Beast of the East. So, um, for now we're going to be taking the components off this bike and putting it on that one. Um, how complete is the other one? Well, it's a frame. So it's a frame. It's got the seat clamp. Same 27-2 post, so that goes on. Um, it's got the fork, it's got the pepperoni forks, that's what they're called, so it's got the aluminum forks, um, it's got the stem on it, okay, I'm not sure if the stem's made of aluminum, chromoly or titanium, not really sure what it's made out of, but it has a stem on it, um, so that means it has the headset in it, everything, that's all there, uh, has the crank set, the crank set's just the bearings and everything in it, and that's it, and it has, uh, some of these components here, but not the complete brakes. These could use just the cleaning and maybe two new nuts. We are not restoring the bicycle. The bicycle will be used just like this one is used. Um, so it's basically just a frame swap out. Why am I doing it? Uh, I always like the other one better. Now the other one, when you bought it, came with little higher end components than these are. Um, but I'm not that worried about it. These components held up to everything I ever put them through. And everything I'm going to put them through. Um, what's better about it? Okay. The bike is lighter. Um, the crank set is supposed to be a little taller off the ground. We're going to take a measurement on this bike before we take it apart. Just from the center of this bolt down. I'm going to see if it's a little taller off the ground. Um, headset. Much taller. Now the bike comes in different models for different years. There's ones that the headset's this short. My particular one, see how these touch? There's a space in between. So the headset is totally longer. Headset on this is an inch. The other one's an inch and a quarter. Huge difference. They go from inch, inch and an eighth, inch and a quarter. Inch stuff you can't get. Very hard to get any upgraded forks or whatever. I found that all out the hard way. Uh, because I was going to upgrade these forks. That's how it all started. Um, so that's all there, that's complete. We're just going to swap over the handlebars. Everything else is the same with a brakes hook up. We might swap out one or two cables. Some of the cables do have rust on them. I'm not afraid they're going to snap. I was going to do that regardless. Um, the measurement from here to there is the same. It's 135 millimeters. They made two different widths. So that was a concern. Um, the fronts are all the same, but they make different width things because they have different width cassettes that's what that's called the thing with all the teeth on that's called a cassette so um the beast from the east is a 21 speed just like this so um that's it we'll do a quick swap over everything and we'll just be driving a different bike um like i said a little lighter a little stronger a little different there's a 22 inch frame the other one's a 20. so um we're going to see how that lands with the handlebars. Okay, now obviously this is going to be down lower. This seat is down as low as it goes. This will not go down any lower. This seat tube goes down to like right here. So I have no problem raising up the seat tube. And from what I understand, since the uh, headset is taller, the handlebars will be up a little higher. So uh, the handlebars might land exactly where this one lands as a uh, 22 inch frame um, so 2022 is fine with me 
anything shorter than that is just too small like and that's actually the measurements from here to here in so many words um, so uh, I measured the tubes because all the dimensions that's the same so obviously the fork length is going to be the same because the tie lens in the same spot but this like I said is going to be taller uh, there are also going to be some slight differences in it uh, it's bright red and uh, pretty much it look like this but bright red so um, okay with that I'm going to put this pedal on and then I'm going to toss these reflectors on Got two packages of those so that should be good so it would be nice if the light can hit you on the side I want to get something front and rear now something a little better than down there okay something some of a nice size for back here even if it's multiple ones same in the front something down here so when the car sees you they see you you know with those big ones these are pretty big uh, the two of these on each wheel will definitely be seen the pedals do not have reflectors it has the holes but I don't know how those reflectors would go on there or not go on there uh, they look like they will fit we'll try I got nothing to lose I don't mind you know they take them off when they just mountain bike ride but I'm driving on the street so definitely nice pieces these are metal of some sort uh, I don't have my magnet I don't know if they're steel I'm assuming the pedals are aluminum and the shaft is steel so okay guys there's the difference okay so I got the pedals on the two reflectors in the back that's what they start out looking like you cannot get these things to line up with this it just doesn't work and you don't want to be forcing on your spokes so I just used the center thing and remove these so we'll do the same to this there you go that's what it looked like and that's what it looks like now not bad you don't destroy it you don't damage it lightens it up a lot too and I think it looks better uh, as long as they stay on there cat's eye that's what's been around for 100 years so we'll see if they're not on there when I come home we'll get better ones okay guys that's it she's done uh, tomorrow we'll take her for a ride it's late now uh, it's got to be well after 10 o'clock now at night so I feel better with the reflectors now we just need something off the front um, we'll see what they sell they definitely need something I'd rather more in the back too uh, because people come up from the, you know, from the back side or the front side. See if we can find another reflector. Maybe put it on the back of the seat. Something on the uh, stem. Something. Something. You can't go cheap on the reflectors, guys. It is your life. So, but that should be good. If you're driving on the road, that's when you see that constant circle of reflector. So that should be fine. Like I said, if they fly off, we'll get different ones. But I think they're going to stay on. And uh, like I said, she's good to go. Uh, so what have we done? We've changed the ties, changed the pedals, changed the seat post, changed the seat. Uh, how come I feel like there's more? Put the reflectors on. And that's it. Next we're going to change the frame. But uh, let's get some fun out of it. Like I have been doing. And... Uh, like I said, tomorrow is going to be a little chilly. Tomorrow's going to be in the 40s. So tomorrow, what I'd like to do is blast the two cars outside and go in there with the blower and blow the garages out. Then leave it like that for now. Then uh, we'll put the stereo in the second half for now. Uh, I'll put it on, just throw it on the workbench. So we have something to listen to while we're out there. And uh, we'll set the garages up. We'll get to it. But, uh, yeah. With that, guys, we're out of here.